Welcome to you all. Welcome to Craven Cottage, famous old ground here in southwest London. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith alongside me up on the gantry. And our action today comes from the Championship in England. It's Fulham against Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Looking forward to this. We've got some really good players out there, and importantly, we've got some match winners, some goal scorers down on that pitch. And I don't Thank think we'll be disappointed. It's Fulham. We've got this game done. Now we can check on the Fulham lineup. We've got it down as a 4-3-3. Yeah, it's a system that the Netherlands used to use all the time. I think, really, they invented it, and uh, plenty of countries have adopted it since. If it works, it's, it's really uh, tough to handle. Let's look at Sheffield Wednesday and the list of their players here. The system that we think they're going to go with is 4-5-1. That one striker will... Tries the shot here! Fabricio makes the save, a straightforward one. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. Well, he could be the star turn in this game. Four goals in his last three games. Pretty impressive stuff, you have to say. Another turnover in play here with that interception. Made sure the pass wasn't completed. Room now out on the wing. I think the cross is on. to admire the way he placed the ball into the bottom corner of the net. But the goalkeeper was in a decent position, but he was helpless to uh, stop that one going in. Well, they have got themselves in front. Read the intentions. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. Stefan Johansson. And you could see what he was trying to do. Passed it into the net, but passed it off target. Well off target. A goal at the Riverside. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Middlesbrough. 18 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. On the attack here. Now he's a chance of winning the ball. He's got it away. Morse. Oh, Miguel Seri. Got to keep the ball here under some pressure. Did well, stuck out a foot and cut off the pass. Over at the Riverside Stadium, Alan McAnally is there for us today, incidentally, and he's got a goal to give us the details of. It's a goal for Brentford, 24 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. We're back here again, thanks to Alan McAnally. Oh, he's given offside. Yeah, he's playing on the shoulder, but just needs to hold his run a touch. Palmer. They've got the ball back by that interception. Now steady, and then he went, just diverted it away. 
He's made the interception. Incisive pass. Bit of space to go forward. Oh, he's through. Out in front of goal. Well, the goalkeeper now at least can uh, relax a little bit. Uh, he was certainly tested to the full extent of his reflexes just a moment or two earlier. Yeah, I mean, the second save, a lot simpler than the first, that's for certain. Great goalkeeper. Joe Miguel Seri. Trying to get the ball in behind. Got to be. What an important goal this may well be. Two ahead now, building a platform for victory. Well, it looks simple, but this lad has got a great instinct of drifting into space, being in the right place at the right time. Restarting at 2-0. Goal at the Liberty Stadium. Alan McAnally is there. It's a goal for Swansea City. 56 minutes, please. 1-1. Interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Fulham in control as far as possession goes. We've seen some lovely football out there. Knocked it about. It's been difficult for the opposition to get near to that ball at times. They've been given a real chasing. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Fulham want to play on. They've got the advantage in this situation. Easy work for the keeper here. Dama Diakabi. The ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. Strong, fair challenge. Balls out for a throw, though. Opportunity to cross it now. Neatly intercepted. Guiding it through. Real chance. We have to say they've not been great in this first half, but that will lift a few heads. They were beginning to look despondent out there. And we restart the game 2-1. It's an unforced error, really, with the pass. Well, the referee is blown for half time here with. Forty-five minutes to go as we start the second half. Campos. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. challenge plenty of width for the team to attack into Bender did well to get to it but hasn't really finished the job referee's done very well here he let the game go on but he knew there was a yellow card infringement in that move and now he's gone back and shown the yellow yeah, it was a definite booking players got no complaints Really good defending. If he hadn't touched it, it was a goal. Now, one of the keepers thanking him for that, but a closing down by his defender. In goes the corner. Not really away from the threat here. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? 
I would be happy with that first 45 minutes. It was a good goal from him, good on overall performance, actually. Tried the back heel. A reminder for you that on EA Sports, we're covering the EFL Championship fixture, Fulham. They'll be hosting Stoke City. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters get excited about it, and I am as well. News of a goal from the Millwall match. Good vision here. And he's aimed for the far post here. Turned aside there by the keeper. Good interception. Sheffield Wednesday's next game, Alan. They're playing Birmingham City in their next match in the Championship. And the two managers have summed it up. I think there's not going to be much between them. Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. They'll be annoyed with the cross because it was the goalkeeper's ball all the way. Sorry I had to cut across Alan McAnally earlier. Stoke have scored, as he told us. The score is now 2-1. Throw in to come. Well, Alan, here's the substitution now. He's done his bit. He got the goal and put his team in the lead. Can they hold that lead? The bench, a substitute is clearly getting ready to come on. Van Baran Gisa. There's a lot going on down at the Liberty Stadium, and Alan McAnally can tell us all about it. Steered through. Must be a goal. Well, he hit it well enough. Yeah, maybe just a bit off balance there, actually. Alan McAnally with a brief <laughs> interruption into our game, and we've interrupted him as well, haven't we? But I want to confirm for you, the visiting team have scored, and they are winning by two goals to one. This is how they love to play on the break. Cut out. Goodness, they needed him then to clear. That. A substitute coming on to try and repair the damage now. A right, chance to whip it in here. He's got his tackle in. And the ball's gone out now. Well, in they come. They're piling into the middle. He stopped it. Incredibly, I think. A corner for Sheffield Wednesday. Corner played into the middle. It's broken down, and they'll have to try again. It's everyone back for this team now. And Alan Smith, perhaps you'd do the same if you were the manager. Well, they might not have much of an outlet. They've got nobody left up front. Just defending in numbers on mass. Diakabi. This does look promising. Does he want to cross it now? He could. He's got his block in and the cross doesn't get into the middle. Pass treaded through. Always been caught. Offside here. Well, long overdue, you feel this change for a side that's behind. A switch of tactics now. Let's pop over to Alan McAnally, who's watching the Millwall game. And I believe, Alan, you've got a goal to tell us about. It's a second goal for Millwall. 78 minutes played. 3 2. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. They've worked so hard, the team, to be in front here. 
And that's been recognised by the supporters. Yeah, I think they recognise that it has been a really good performance, but still a bit of work to do. Gives it away, straight to the opposition. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Still 2-1, time ticking away, not quite to set in stone the result yet. Can you think what it's going to mean for their next game, Alan? Yeah, Fulham go up against Stoke after this, Martin. They've been below expectations out here, they need to improve. That's proper clearance, well away from the danger zone. Still seven minutes left on the clock. to save above his head safely enough they've got the lead they've got the corner the ball's in the right end of the pitch for them they can do several things here they don't have to whip it in played away well away from goal please give a round of applause for he's got good support in the middle if he gets his cross in Alexander he's got skill with the ball backing himself in these circumstances Good cross normally, but that's not a good cross. Go kick. Just one minute left on the clock. Two more minutes to play, that of added time. They know the clock is against them. But the opposition is doing well against them as well. Defender blocks the cross. Guiding it through. 